Hi everyone, this video I will show you how to implement a Jax to a Django project. Initially I have activated my VirtualAN. Next, I will install a package called Ajax. Pip install Django iPhone Ajax. For this video, I have created a project called Ajax Sample and also an app called Example. I just want to mention these apps inside my install apps as tuple first example and the third party DHX and DHX size The next step I have to mention the DHXS URLs to my main URLs. The right side you can see the configuration. Okay, getting back to my settings. Just add a, a line in template loaders. And also added a tuple call template context processes. Inside the static file find this tuple, I have the, the third line and also third parameter in static file find this. Okay. The next step, I have, uh, I'm creating a file called ajax.py inside my next sample app. Okay. At first line, I have imported a dajax class. In the second line, I have imported a uh, DHX size register decorator. And I have written a function called multiply. It have it, it's taking three arguments request A, comma B. And it's decorated by DHX size register. And DHX is an instance which point to DHX class. And uh, result equal to int of A into int of B. This A and B will be a string and uh, uh, to get the product of these two we have to convert as an integer. After getting this result, tjax.assign function will return the result as string to the div result. And to get those data uh, for JavaScript as a serialized data, we use tjax.json. Next I wish to write my first landing page. Before that, I have to do the collect static. Okay. Inside static folder, you just see DHX and DHX size folder I had already uh, uh, created. Uh, inside DHX folder, uh, there are some uh, four plugins Dojo, jQuery, Mood Tools, and Prototype. In this video, I am using jQuery.dhx.core only. And uh, in DHX size folder, you just see uh, DHX size dot code dot js. Uh, uh, according to the multiply function, it has created a JavaScript at the time of collect static, and also the multiply function inside that variable. Okay. In URLs, in the twelfth line, twelfth line, I import the template view. And uh, using template view as view, I had the index.html as my static page. At index.html, the top of the head, head section had some scripts here. Load DHX size template tags. If you want to uh, use the DHX size template tags, we have to import that initially. And the ninth line, I have used the jQuery plugin. It's not the DHX plugin, it's the normal jQuery 1.8.2. And 11th, uh, I had used jQuery.chatdhx.co.js. This one will order uh, this one that already uh, created uh, uh, at the time of collect static. And the 14th line, dhx size js import. This one will uh, import our uh, dhx size code.js. And uh, script JavaScript here, a co function called calculate. Before going to this, just, just, you just look uh, the 31 to 34. 
input type text the value the initial value 5 and id is 8 and the 32 uh, initial value is 6 and the id is b and the 33 is the result and the value is null and 34 has a button and a function and on click function is the <coughs> maybe uh, press the button it will uh, works the function calculate if it go uh, it will uh, function like it will search for the uh, variable dhx size and it will works in uh, works like cool uh, dhx size example multiply it will take the value of a to a and the id b to b and the multiply function uh, will work i had explained you before it will uh, throw the serialized data and uh, as the result and it will shows inside the result input at next i'm gonna run the server okay run server okay just see uh, 5 into 6 5 and 6 are the initial value 5 into 6 will be 30 and 4 into 4 will be 16 without refreshing the page we will get the result as a jax so testing once again 1 into 5 it's 5 so thank you for watching my video you can download this entire project on github Let's look the YouTube description. Have a good day. Bye.